you little devils. Right. And then we're going to use the object states panel. So this is just like a, you've probably heard of a rollover button or a mouse over or, or something like that, where you have a mouse over state or a down state or whatever. This is just like that, except the states really have no function at this point. They're just, diff, uh, just a different look. <coughs> okay? So all you do is select all your objects, you hit this little guy down the bottom, it turns it into a multi state object. That's what that is. And we're going to call that the gallery. Gallery, and you could, if you wanted to, name each of the states in there. Would that be? Or could I? I should be able to. I've renamed them in the past. There we go. So we'll call that J. In this case, it's, it's going to be handy. Gee, it's bit touchy. I need to zoom in a bit further so I can... Oh, maybe I'll zoom that out. This is not fun at all, is it? It is actually quite an important part of this exercise because we're going to target these with those buttons in a minute. When I pull up that interface, I'm going to be going, what, what the hell am I linking to here? State 2? What is that? Is that the rock? Is that the sheep? It doesn't matter what order they're in there. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't, there's no correlation. So, Is it my mousing hand is... Too much caffeine today. There we go. Let's let's do that. Let's just go with that. Right. Yeah. Just, when you group them, you get um, a line on the Align them, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Sarah, they're all there. Are they all, all the frames together? Like yeah, the, it's essentially like together. a group. You know, like if you just grab them all and press Command G or whatever and they're all grouped, yep. so it, so it will behave just like that. So yeah. And from there, you just go to object state and then the five states or whatever. Yep. Yeah, so you, you go there, you, you, with them all selected, you hit this little guy down the bottom, that just turns, that then converts them into that object state. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But don't group them first. You don't you don't actually group them, because then it'll go, oh, that's one object. Okay. Yeah. And it'll be looking for the other parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am going to, I'm persisting. Uh, slide. Okay. So we've got our gallery, it's all known. We're going to do a, we're, we're going to bypass our, our buttons really quickly here because this is, this is something that um, is a little bit of a trick and we need to get to that um, to happen. But we're just going to put two stars over here as our buttons. There. That's forward. That's back. So here's what we do. So we saw how to create a button to trigger the animation before. Create a button to trigger our slideshow. Which is kind of like an animation, isn't it? So we, we select it. We go to buttons. Now you don't need to convert it to a button first but because the... the, the um, by just going straight to applying an action to it will automatically turn it into a button for you. So you can skip that a pretty small step there, but you can skip that. And you just say, go to next state. And it will say, ah, well, he must be talking about um, an object, you know, a multi-state object. Um, so go to next state, and you can flip over to the next state. Okay. Then back, go to previous state. Okay. And then that will take you to the previous state. Now I know what you, I know what you're thinking. Um, why the hell did he name all of those bloody states? We'll, we'll get to that in a minute, okay? Because these aren't actually going to be our buttons. So there, go to previous state, and then we'll. Try 
try it. Play. Start. Back. Start forward. Okay. Yeah. So, um, can you just imagine that there uh, it has gallery? Where did it pick up that name from? So, is it, it it searches the pages for the, the spread for any multi-state objects on there, and it has just automatically named it gallery for me. So, if I if I select, um, I didn't point that out. That's a very good question. If I select it, you'll notice at the top there it had auto auto automatically named that gallery for me. So it's very observant. But that's not how we want this thing to roll. You know what we're going to do? We're going to grab these guys and we're going to... You can just cool your jets over there for a minute, Buttons, and we're going to get these guys here and we're going to convert those just to objects and you'll notice down the bottom corner of each of these there's a little uh, animation sign. Do you notice that? And when I select it you can see the the sheep animation this, this button is, is flying down and that button's flying down and there I've I've made the animations for each of these buttons different lengths so that they can all fold down from underneath or what, what appears to be from underneath that, that top button. So wh when we did our test before, you know, it was animating down like that and then back up. There's a little bit of a trick to that. So I, I need to show you how to do it, okay? It won't just happen straight out of the box. So we'll go over to our animations panel and we'll just say none. Oh, I forgot to... This little guy here... I forgot to tell you that our little animation that we're doing, the, the circle, you know, we, we mouse over it, really like that animation. Oh, I'm going to use that on every logo that I do. So I'd like to save that as an animation preset. That was my hell yeah one. Okay? So when I have that, when I have that uh, selected, I can just say, right at the top little corner of animation, have, you, have your object selected. Come on, hit save. Hell yeah too. There you go. And so now I can select any object and just apply my little, my little animation to it so I can do it consistently across no like that. And you can not be an animation as well. Right. And I think I've got two um, buttons at the top I should have. Anyway. Okay. So first of all, let's do these animations. I'll show you how to adjust them so that they, they work in the right order. So, Jack Davis here. That button there. Let's Oh, as a matter of fact, let's let's apply let's apply the, the action to it first, then we'll apply the animation to it. Okay, so there it is. There, um, we come over to buttons. We'll put this over here so we can have a good look at it. We'll say animation, um, not go to next state, not go to previous state, go to state. Okay, and that way we get to choose what the state is. Jack. There we go. Sheep. And then we say go to state. And we choose sheep hill. This one. You understand what I'm doing, don't you? Yeah? I don't need to explain this. Rock. And go to state. Slide. Good. Thank you. And sheep. Go to state. And one. Thank you. Do I get everything right then? 
think so. Oh, you know, probably change the name of the button instead of button 19, but, you know, whatever. I won't put you through that you know, drama today. So we've done that. <clears throat> now we need to animate them. So we're going to say, choose one of the presets. I think the spinning one's not appropriate in this case. So we're going to say, fly in from the top. And you see, it gives us that spine, right? Now that's an editable spine. We can we can change it. We can change it whether it eases in or eases out, or just boom, is a constant thing. I like that easing business. I think it gives it a bit more of a, I don't know, whatever. I like it. Get over it. So we'll do that. I'm going to change the length of that animation so it starts from. So I can grab that end. I can drag that right to the centre of the, the top button where I'm going to click that and it's going to animate right from that centre. That, that's where I want it to go from. Okay, So we'll do that. So I've adjusted the length of, of that spine. So that's good. Flying from the top, not on page load. So turn that off. We're going to grab this little clicker and say when this top button is clicked it's going to fly down. We're making sense so far? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Why did Jack move over there? You can go back there. So now we have to now we have to repeat this process for Sheep Hill. So preset, flying from the top, like so. Not on page load. When you click that, and we need to, I was actually going to, oh, sheep hill, grab it. You can even use the white pointer tool. I find this a little bit easier, a little bit more accurate as well just to grab that spine and move it. You can actually put bezier points on it and bend it if you want, so you can have it curving. Yes, sorry, I didn't see. Can you edit multiple ones? At the same time, you won't be able to edit the multiple spines like that. It, 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 I know you want me to hurry up, so it's I'll... It's not like Flash, where you can just edit multiple things together. No, no. Oh, in some functions you can, but not this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And we'll do these bits real quick. Button preset. Fly in top. There we go. We can change the speed of them and all that sort of stuff as well. We're going to come across a problem in a minute, and um, I'll need your assistance here to try and figure out how to fix it. I've got one more beginner. Oh, this is a bit strange. I've got one more beginner's disc for the person that can figure out how to fix it. <laughs> that person is probably the least likely to need the beginner's <laughs> disc. <laughs> But that, that more advanced person can then choose a beginner that they would like to give the disc to. So there's a certain amount of prestige involved, I guess. <laughs> Making a whole bunch of rookie mistakes on this as I go. Okay. Thank God 